Hello. Today I thought I'd share a couple of uh, cells I put together. They're very, very simple to make and they work quite well. Uh, all they are, all they consist of is a copper cap. You can, here's one here. I just soldered a little uh, wire on the side of. And in the center I have a piece of magnesium. I drilled a hole in the top of and uh, put a little screw in it. Here's one here. What I did on these ones here, these three quarter inch caps here, or these are one inch caps, these here. Uh, what I did on them is I cut these off about five eighths of an inch long and drilled a little hole in the top. So I had a little solid block of magnesium to put down inside of that copper cap. Uh, a word of advice, when I tried to drill one of these, it wanted to catch on fire on me. <laughs> so I, uh, I cut these off, put it in a vise, and I took a hacksaw, a nice sharp hacksaw, and I put a little pan underneath them and I just trickled a little water on them while I sawed them off. And when I put them in the uh, drill press, I held them with a vice grip pliers and actually put them in a little pan of water and drilled them that way so the chips wouldn't catch on fire. That worked very well. It was a pretty safe way to do it. Without any problems in it anyway. Well, anyway, what I did to make these, they, all they consist of basically is this uh, piece of magnesium the, the copper cap and the little screw that I screwed in the top and then what I did is I cut pieces of paper towel for these one inch caps and here's one right here that's the width of a paper towel and the one inch high and then I just took that and I wrapped it around the uh, magnesium and I did three of them piece, pieces of paper towel and wrapped each one one at a time around the magnesium and that gave me enough paper towel so it would just slide in there loosely. It just slid right in there very loosely. Then I took an eyedropper and I, I have a solution of uh, Epsom salt that's mixed 50% Epsom salt and 50% water. Okay, and it dissolved very well. Then I took an eyedropper anyway after I had the paper in there and the magnesium in there and I put, I don't know, maybe three or four full eyedroppers full of uh, magnesium water solution in there until it was wet, good and wet, but not so it would run out when I tipped the cap. Then I took a little wooden doll, you can use anything you want, and I packed that paper down so it was down about, uh, oh, an eighth inch or so below the top of the cap. And then I took... Uh, glue all and, and I put a little light layer of glue all over it. I didn't fill it all the way up at all. I mean only just enough to cover it. Then I let that set for uh, probably a, a day. And then I took, because uh, it bubbles up because of the gases in there, it bubbles up pretty good. I kept breaking the bubbles as it was drying. But anyway after a day it was pretty well dry. So I took uh, <coughs> uh, a hot glue and I just filled it full of hot glue carefully on all of these <coughs> and that sealed them and sealed the moisture in there hopefully forever so it won't come out this is a bigger one I made uh, it's exactly the same thing except it's made out of three quarter inch copper and it's got a longer uh, piece of magnesium inside of it and it's wrapped with paper towel since it's only three quarter I could only use about uh, I don't know one and one half of these strips here but they were wider obviously you know, to take care of it. Anyway, they've been running now for 15 days. These pulse motors, I have, this one here is running this uh, pulse motor over here. And this one is running this pulse motor over here. And for 15 days. So I, I really consider that pretty good use out of them. And I have no idea how much longer they're going to run. Uh, they're still going pretty good, as you can see. I'm presuming they're going to go for quite a while yet. Uh, another little project, I'll just go over some of this other stuff I'm doing real quick here. It's this little guy here. <laughs> that little fun I put him together yesterday. These are uh, all these circuits here you're seeing. They're all uh, lit motors, self-starting pulse motor circuits. If you go on his channel, you can see the uh, drawing for them. He does a very nice job, of course. This little guy here is... Uh, I've got two little uh, tiny magnets here. 
uh, one on top of a piece of plexiglass, one on the bottom, and that's just a sewing needle that I pressed through that bottle cap and it's hanging on that sewing needle. The bottle cap is just a small bottle cap with small, uh, four small uh, magnets hot glued to it and, uh, and they're uh, facing north out. And the coil is 30 gauge wire uh, wrapped on a sewing machine bobbin. And that there I thought I would try and get one that will run with the least possible amount of friction. And I think this is it. I don't think you can get one to run with any less friction. That copper wire you see uh, sticking out right there. Obviously when it's hanging from a needle like that and it's self-starting, that thing gives it a kick when it tries to first self-start it. And that thing will really get to wobbling like crazy. I mean, it'll wobble so bad it'll, it'll fly off of there. So I put that little copper wire around it. That wire is not... Uh, touching the needle at all. It's going right dead in the middle of it. But I put that copper wire on it to keep it from going crazy when it first starts up. And once you get going, once it get, gets going, it goes pretty good. Pretty good. I thought that was pretty neat. Anyway, a lot of projects. Blocking oscillators. I've been doing a lot of measuring. For example, this one is drawing 47.2 milliamps at, at using a 1.2 fully charged battery. I've been doing a lot of measuring on different ones. Uh, there's, I got one going here and one going here and one there. <laughs> All over the place. That's just a jewel thief down there. I've been taking some measurements off of. And of course the original one, Lit Motors Penny, that I modeled all mine after. I think it's working really good. And over here is the project I've got going, uh, trying to steal power from my antenna. That's been going for about six days now with a little uh, blocking oscillator. It's yeah, working good. Crystal set I have going over here. It works real good. And another little uh, self-starting uh, pulse motor of lip motors design. Uh, it's running off a solar panel and it runs really good too. Well, anyway, I just wanted to share, share all this stuff with you, especially the batteries, because they're so simple and so easy to make, and they really seem to work quite well, very well. They're putting out about a volt and a half when you first uh, make them, and the milliamps were up there pretty good. Uh, I don't remember exactly what they were, 70, 80 milliamps, they were pretty good. Well, anyway, that's about it, and thanks very much for watching.